Hi. <laughs> My phone was taking forever to go live, and so I pressed the live button and it just kind of sat there and sat there, and then I couldn't tell if I was still waiting or if we'd started. So let's start. <laughs> you know, the truth is, whenever you do a live, uh, there's all this craziness before you start. So I, my name is Chelsea, by the way, from Apple Blossom Way, and I am a mom to three boys. And uh, every time you start a live, you have to run through the house and tell everyone that they gotta be quiet and they can't like yell, even if they scored really high on a game or something. And um, that there's all this craziness right before you start. And uh, we just finished the craziness and now we're ready to go. <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited to uh, do this little project with you guys tonight. So say hello as you come on so that I know my comments are working. Uh, and if you have any questions, then I can answer them. Um, but I just wanna make sure that I see you guys. So, and tell me where you're from. Uh, I'm out here in Salem, Utah. So, I have a cool project for you guys tonight. It is um, July now and we've got the fourth in just a couple of days and so i thought it would be fitting to do a project with the american flag and uh, i just happened upon some really cool pieces uh, about two days ago right before and i thought this would be perfect kind of meant to be so hi lisa how are you hey sean okay so tonight we are going to be using <clears throat> two transfers one is the America transfer. This is just an American flag. I'll show you. I just recently used this on um, a children's picnic table and I combined it with a Western, um, <clears throat> the Western transfer that has like a, um, a cowboy on a horse. It says the Wild West on it. So this is the America transfer and it's just a distressed flag. So you can see how the stars and the stripes have a little bit of distressing and the stripes have a little bit of a gray, um, like a tinge or a dirtiness to them. So it kind of just looks like an old distressed flag, which is pretty cool. Hi from Ohio. Hey Roz, how are you? So this is one of them that we're going to use. And the other one that I pulled out that I thought would be fun is this is the patriotic transfer. And you guys can, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna put these on our project tonight. So if you have suggestions or ideas, shout them out. And you know, everyone's brain thinks very differently. So it's kind of fun sometimes to bounce ideas off of each other. All right, and the other one, the patriotic transfer, I'll show you what's in it here. Uh, it's got a few fun, fun things. It has um, USA. It has, this one's kind of cool, I like this, it's a, the USA, United States of America in, with a flag over the top and some extra stars that you could place. I really like that, I'll probably use that one tonight. I'm not really big into um, the letters and stuff, but this would be fun, this would be tons of fun to use on a, on a variety of projects. You know what that would be cool on actually, because they're separated. And I know it's backwards for you guys, uh, is if you had like some big large pots and you put some um, like mums in them. They have colored mud, mums, red, white, and different colors. It'd be kind of fun if you had red pots um, and then you just put a letter on each one and then put them on your porch. That would be really cute, actually. I think I'm gonna do it. Hey Kim, how are you? Okay. Oh my gosh. Can you guys hear that scratching on the floor? That's my dog running. Uh, Poe lays on his side and he runs on the floor. It's really weird. Okay, and this one also has a little flag in it and it's also distressed. It's very, very cool. And then this is probably my favorite uh, piece out of the patriotic bunch is this one. It just has the American flag waving in the wind and then it has a distress, kind of like a dusty gray blue sky in the background. I really love that. I think it's beautiful. So those are the transfers we're going to use tonight. 
And now you guys want to see what we're going to put them on? This is the cool part. Okay, so I have two of these. Um, I happened upon these on the yard sale site. So I'm going to turn the camera down so you guys can see more of what I'm working on. Uh, and then we'll see if, if you can't see my face, that's okay. That's not. All right. Let's see. I'm on my tippy toes trying to reach that. Okay, so here are these are old ammo boxes, which is pretty cool. Um, so these are antiques. They have, if you can see, they still have the imprinted um, coating on them for what lot it came from. It has like, don't store above 20 degrees, rocket ammunition with explosive projectile. So these are really cool um, little antique uh, rocket boxes or ammunition boxes, which is pretty awesome. I have two of them. And so these, I'll show you, this is kind of, they're kind of heavy. So this is what it looks like, okay? And then it has, um, it used to have like the rope handles. These have worn over time. It has the little latches. And so you could, I thought it would be cool to install it on a wall like this. And you can open it up um, for like a bathroom cabinet or something. Um, but I either am going to use these as shelves and put kind of like a metal bracket underneath or put um, the harpen legs underneath. And um, let's see, she's watching Joe, <laughs> there she is. So Joe did uh, a really cool, she actually had one of these, she painted it white and she put the American flag inside kind of like what we're gonna do tonight, which I thought was so funny um, that that's what I was gonna do. And then I saw it, I'm like, well, well, it's a good idea then. If she does it, it has to be a good idea. She does some awesome pieces. So either these will be nightstands with the harpen legs underneath, or I'll add um, the metal brackets for shelving uh, for pipes, and then they'll have kind of a shelf so you can put stuff on top, or they also open for storage. Okay, so let me put this back down. Yeah, they're super cool. Um, and you don't find them as much around here. So I've just cleaned these. I haven't done anything else. I don't want to sand them. I'm just going to clean them and I'm going to put the transfer right on the inside. So, and then after we do all that, I'm going to apply Wiesel salve to them. Is it touching something? Can you hear me now better, Roz? It was touching on my, on the edge here. All right, so we're gonna add a transfer here. Okay, so let's look at the patriotic ones first. Hey Heather, how are you? If I use one of these, it's not gonna take up the full length. So these are smaller. The patriotic um, combo comes with several of them, but they're smaller instead of joining them. Yeah, it's my dogs, and, and it's also this, so sorry guys. It's a combination of both. Um, so if I'm going to do this one, it's just going to probably come in the center. So let's look at a few together, and then kind of brainstorm. Let's see. I actually think, you know what I think? I really like this one. Here. Hey, that's inappropriate. Okay, they're just staring at me. <laughs> okay, so we could put it about right here. I like that one. Do you guys like that one? With the United States and the flag? Or do you like this one? On the center. Which one do you like better? The United States or the flag? Just say that. I like both of them. I think I like the United States for this one because it doesn't have the um, harsh edge lines. So I think it's gonna go better. So I'm thinking let's do this one here. And then on the other one, we'll use the flag transfer, which is larger so it will cover more space. So I have my scissors right here. Sorry, you guys. 
they were outside for a long time, so I thought they would be fine. But, uh, oh, I think I'll leave those four. I kind of like that with the four coming down the side. I think I'll leave those, but I'll cut off these two. And then I'll just save these for another project. So we'll just do the US and then the four stars right here. Maybe we'll just do, well, yeah, let's do three stars. For me, this would be for my boys. I have three boys, okay? So I've got the US and my three boys right there. So it's kind of fun because you can make them meaningful to you or to your client, all right? So, I feel like that's gonna be awesome. So let's put this one on, we'll grab the other one and do it. Yes, they are saying hi. You know what, I think they need some attention maybe too, but they're playing with each other. So I have two golden doodles, uh, Maggie and Poe. Let's see. Perfect, okay. And Maggie is the mama, and Poe is her son. And they are like my babies. <laughs> Maggie's the only other girl in this house besides me. So we gotta stick together. All right, so this, I'm just applying it right to the raw wood, and I have my fancy little stick. It's nothing really fancy. If you ever lose a stick, you can use an old card, um, an old credit card or something like that. Just don't use the new credit cards. Hey, no, because you'll break them. All right, I'm not gonna worry about the cracks in between. Those are gonna be just fine. But I am going to make sure I press really hard in between the cracks so that my transfer will adhere to the wood and not in the edges. That way when I peel it, it won't rip it all the way down. So I'll show you guys. Ah, it's fine. <laughs> I think that's a really important thing to think about when you do transfers is you kind of anything with art is you kind of have to let it go and let it be what it's going to be um, it may not be perfect and you need to be okay with that because that's really the beauty of art is that it's not absolutely perfect and sometimes I find the most beautiful things in the flaws um, so remember that uh, you know, my transfer pulled up and my star ripped. Well, it's okay, because you know what? Now I can just distress the whole thing and it's all gonna tie together and it's going to look really, really cool. And um, I think it almost might even be better. So don't ever worry if uh, it tears or wrinkles or isn't perfect. Just remember that's part of making the art. Okay, so once I have it on there pretty good, I'm going to kind of check it and see how well this is going to come off. And I just peel it slowly from one edge down. That way if I have any issues, I can um, kind of pull it back and rub it. So I'll show you. Like right here, I can tell. Maggie, hey girlfriend, there's a whole lot of people watching this and they do not want to hear you yapping. <laughs> All right, it's official next time they're going outside, you guys. Holy moly. It's like I brought my dogs to work day. That's super unprofessional. Like who, who hired this lady? <laughs> Okay, all right, so I'm just going to slowly pull it off. Ooh. Okay, 
So yeah, that's good, but you have to burnish it. If you don't do this next step uh, and you apply a top coat over it, it's going to crack, crack and peel and come off, all right? Which is not good. So make sure that you take this over the top and you rub it down. See, that's making all of my little edges. You can see them here, but you can't here. So they start to disappear as I burnish. And then I'll just slide that right in my crack there. And I'll allow that little line to show through. So I think this will be cool because it's not taking away from the authenticity of it really. Um, from the outside, it's still gonna look like an old ammo box but revived with the YZL salve. And from the inside, it will have a fun little surprise. And like I said, I can make, you can make it meaningful to you or to the client. So that's kind of the magic part about it, about transfers. And you don't have to use the whole thing either. Um, this also would have been really cool if I just took it to the side and only used half of the map or on this side and only use the half with the stars and a little bit of the stripes and left the rest. Um, I could write a saying over here if I wanted to and give this to someone, which would be very cool and meaningful. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have people in the service and so these are really cool transfers to use and um, do gifts for them. My nephew is in the Marines, hoorah, <laughs> and He's a pretty awesome kid. I would love to do something fun for him and meaningful. Okay, and then I kind of just go the other way to make sure that it's really on there. Okay, and then I can leave it just like that. That's great. Or I can sand it and distress it. So I'm gonna show you guys distressing just so you can see what it kind of does to it, why I like it, and then we will move on to our other transfer so you can see the other one as well. So to distress this, I'm gonna be using uh, the Surf Prep Rad Pads. If you haven't ever used these, they're super cool. Um, I do have an affiliate link and I have a 10% off discount code for you guys. So I will drop that in the comments and you guys are welcome to use it. Um, you can use it on any of the sanding paper and you can also use it on the rad pads if you want to try them out. But it comes in a little variety pack and it just says uh, what strength they are in the back. So I'm going to use the fine rad pad right here. And they're nice because they're just foam backed and they have the sand, sanding material on the front so they're really easy to hold. Um, and you can fold it over or whatever. But these are ideal for little projects just like this. So I'll just come over and come right over the top. So can you guys see that? Can you see right here how the wood grain is starting to show through that comes up to that knot? So this is how you get some of your wood grain to pop through underneath your transfer. This will give you the appearance that it is almost one with the wood. It's been painted on, it's been on there a long time, it's hand painted. It's going to give you that appearance and make it look much more authentic than um, if you just placed a sticker on top, right? And so these, these little things that you do make a huge difference in your work. So I, that's why I always distress my transfers. And I let the edges get distressed. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see that, but. just a minute and you will be able to see it. So 
I'm going to seal this and actually the whole thing with um, Wise Owl Furniture Salve. It is the bomb, the coolest stuff ever made, I think. <laughs> you can use it on wood, leather, metal, um, and it's just going to revive and uh, protect whatever you're doing. And so because I want to keep this very natural and very true to what it is, I'm going to use this out. So the one I'm using is called The Botanist. Um, it's kind of a very fresh, a little bit of a floral scent, but more on the side of floral greens. And I'll show you what it's going to do for our wood and our transfer. So see how that, now you can see that grain, it's deepened it. And I can take it right over the metal, metal hinges. Keep it a little bit on this side. This is brush is super cool too, because it makes the sap go a long way. And then I always just have a cloth and I'll buff it in. This is just an old cloth that I use for the salve. see our grain showing through. Isn't that beautiful? It makes it look so much more authentic. Okay. All right. So there is our American flag and the box. Well, that's the America shape and flag. And then the other one I'm going to do is just the flag. Tiffany, I'm glad you made a life. The other one is a little bit more aged, you can see, but still just as cool. I'm actually going to stack these on top of each other because my table's just a little bit low. <laughs> Maggie, no. You guys, I am sorry. <laughs> she must have a friend at the door. Dogs are like people. If they have a friend at the door, they're like... <laughs> gonna want to see him. Quarantine's been hard. Alright, I'm just gonna show you guys the flag real quick and then I'll let you go. Nope. Okay, so here is the flag transfer is much larger as you guys can see. So one is about gonna fit the entire top, okay? And it also connects to a bottom half. So it is much bigger, right? Okay. So I could save the bottom half and use it on something else, and that would be really pretty. Maggie, no. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to add this on. And then I'll let you guys go. And normally I would cut it. I'm not going to cut this one. I'm just going to lay it right on there. Okay. And because... don't have this pressed down. I'm just holding it and I'm going to go from one side and push the transfer over to the other side. There we go. Okay. So now I kind of have it laid down. Maggie, no.
Oh, Kim, you're so sweet. <laughs> you know what? She really is the best girl. Hey, that's enough. All right. We'll apply it, and then I'm going to let you guys go. And do your thing. across the street and I guarantee she's outside right now and she can see her they sit up to the door and look out the window okay and then because I didn't cut this and I have this edge hanging over I can either cut it or I can really adhere that and then it's going to stick really well Again, for my crazy dogs. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. See you.